Scadden grain grower Darren Kerno has saved $118,000 over three years by implementing variable rate technology to target crop inputs to soil types across his farm. With the help of his local agronomist, Mr Kerno has identified the production zones in each of his paddocks using electromagnetic survey work. Using this information, Mr Kerno has applied the variable rate gypsum, phosphorus, nitrogen, potassium and lime across his 2,500 hectare farm, allowing him to cut his fertiliser costs and improve crop production at the same time. We adopted variable rate technology um, three, to, three to four years ago um, to apply fertiliser um, on our areas that it's needed rather than a blanket um, approach over the whole farm. We can also control um, protein towards the end of the year given um, season, seasonal conditions with nitrogen application through variable rate as well. As part of the work Mr Kerno's agronomist has established a long-term strip trial in one paddock to test the ideal rate of gypsum on different soil types. Mr Kerno has measured annual yield increases of between 5 and 10 percent on the gypsum responsive zones but in some years this yield response has been as high as 20 percent. We've been working with our local um, agronomists um, with our EM surveys to identify the um, different soil types on our farm and we've got gypsum responsive areas over there so we were able to um, variable rate spread uh, gypsum from 300 kilos to um, 5 tonne. The Grains Research and Development Corporation has supported a number of variable rate trials throughout Western Australia and has encouraged the adoption of this technology to manage crops grown on hostile soils. Maintained our yields I suppose, to, they haven't fallen away of course, but um, we've probably had more savings in fertiliser application rather than putting on a blanket spread of um, fertiliser. We've been able to put it in the areas that it's needed and the poor performing areas we've been able to back it off so we've had a saving that way. 